This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Fitzy, Whipper and Kate's Married at First Sight dinner party. Oh my God. Don't miss the Married at First Sight final vows. Sunday, 7 p.m. on 9 and 9 now. All right, we've been talking about it all morning, but there was one moment we haven't discussed until now. So, as you know... There's the awkward question part because all the guests that are there on the night are allowed to submit questions for the contestants on Married at First Sight. And that's one thing to do that. And we were going through the process of reading out questions, getting some funny answers. And then, Kate, all of a sudden, you said, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I should bring this up. Well, see, You'd overheard I, something. I'd gone to the toilet quickly before we had to get back on the microphone. You're a bit and there nervous, was, I know. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> well, a bit of a funny tummy. Anyway, <laughs> and, um, and so there was like a gaggle of girls in the stairwell and it was all um, like, oh, I don't know if I'm meant to know this. Should I tell you? And I said, well, are you going to burden me with this information? And then I heard something that is not even going to be covered on the show. No. It was something that they were just talking about on the night that they weren't going to tell anyone and that they'd be in trouble if the publicist from Channel 9 knew that they were chatting about and I thought what what best way to handle information I shouldn't tell anyone but to bring it to the room yeah mate it felt, felt okay. and it's not my right information to, to tell so I thought you know what just hand it over to the contestants themselves and they will present the goods okay so set this up the most controversial couple on Married at First Sight this year was Jack and Tori. Okay? They weren't there last night. Tori has just started a new job, so she couldn't be at the mass dinner party. And then Jack said, Well, I'm not going to be there if Tori's not there. Right? There's been talk about Jack and the way that he's been treating mm-hmm. Tori. And this stuff we haven't found out about during the show. But Kate brought it up. Timothy took over and there was a lot of accusations. This is what happened. Oh, no, Kate, you're back. Hang on, I've got the Hang gossip. You got the gossip. And I don't know if I should say it or not. Say it, Kate Ritchie. I'm not going to exactly say what happened or how it happened. But I did get a phone call from Jack's ex, which actually answered a lot of questions, which made the show make complete sense. You f- liar. <laughs> oh. So are they still together, Tim? Is that what you're saying? Watch the show, but he's full of s**t from head to toe. Okay. Tune in, What's guys. He done? Jack, Tim, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. What's Jack doing? He's doing everybody. What do you mean? Are you pointing fingers? Timothy, tell the story. Just say it. This is what what has happened. Everyone's going to find out anyways. Is this going to be on the show? No. No. Tim, this is outside the show. Is it a next, Tim? It's a next. Right, and w- w- was this happening during filming or just after? Yes, the- during. <laughs> oh, seriously. Um, when, when, when Jack gave Tori the no, bracelet. No, no, let him oh. say it. <laughs> no, okay. because, because there was one situation I remember coming out in the lifts and I remember Jack was sitting on the chair and he was like having this conversation, this deep conversation, and he looked at me and he looked really uncomfortable and I was like, my gut just said, I bet you anything he's on the phone to this girl. Like, I just knew. Yeah, and, and she he was. So. And she conf- she confirmed that. So that's all I have to say. Put your hands together for the contestants from Meredith. Whoa. Oh, whoa, Timmy. Oh, my God, bombshell. Tim didn't care. He went on to say that at the homestays, Jack hooked up with Tori and the other girl in the same day. So, I, you know oh. what I find hard about this? In the and same Kate, day. Jack, I'm not a big fan of Jack, but he's he doesn't have right of reply. Mm. Yeah, it's not fair. And you know what? We've just broadcast that. But we have managed to get his phone number. Do you, yeah, he's just, not going to pick up on a morning like this, he is would. he? Can I just add one thing here? You've got to think about Tori because she spent the entire time in this experiment believing him and wanting to believe yeah, him. But I don't know. I, I think, you she, think she's there, a was, sucker? there was whispers of this, but I think she's just poo-pooed it, to be honest with you. Do, can we, should, should we give him a call? Yeah, let's do it. Well, if he doesn't pick up. Didn't he own up that he was not He was never into the... I don't know. Just telling a couple of porkies, I think. Came on for wrap-up of the week. He's not going to pick up. Leave him do a message. To, oh, do you want me to leave yeah. him? 
Hi, hi Jack. It's Lucinda here. <laughs> um, we missed you last night at Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie's dinner party. And there were a few accusations <laughs> that were being thrown around Jack. And I just want to see if you're doing okay. <laughs> and... Are you still hooking up with your ex? <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, Lucinda. Oh, oh my God. Do you know oh, what? You'll never know. Go. You'll never. No, know. you won't have a clue. Go and have a look at the uh, video up now. Uh, Fitzy Whipper, Kate Ritchie Instagram page. Unbelievable footage from last night. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player. Thank you.